we need to take a look at what would really happen if dogs became as intelligent as people, the way they are sometimes portrayed in these retarded Disney movies for children. How would dogs become intelligent, first of all? Dean Koontz has explored the concept in Watchers, and it was done with genetic engineering. Let's say there was some way to boost the intellect of dogs until they became as sentient as humans. I think due to brain size, there's no way they could get those dogs past 60 or 80 IQ. And I'm just throwing those IQ numbers out there because they seem the best suited to what I would like to see happen if dogs became intelligent. And that would be chaos. Basically, with a 60 IQ, dogs would gain a sentience and would begin to understand human languages and the world around them. However, they would still be dogs, with all the psychology of dogs staying intact. They would remain stupid. Uh, you couldn't send them to school and teach them anything. They would likely refuse to learn and they wouldn't care to learn. Not things like math or science or, or history. They wouldn't care about that stuff. These intelligent dogs would also lack a good ability for abstract reasoning and impulse control, and would lack the capacity for delayed gratification. However, they would understand the concept of time and what they are in relation to the humans around them. First thing they would see is how many of them are enslaved, wearing collars, being walked on leashes and kept in pens and cages. They would very well grasp the concept of slavery. Uh, that would be something that these sentient dogs would want to end. The resentment toward the human species over this would be powerful and instantaneous. It wouldn't do any good to explain to these dogs that they were enslaved by humans because they were dumb before and didn't mind it. They'll see that they were ripped off and they would want immediate revenge and reparations. Dogs naturally form packs. The packs that these intelligent dogs would create would share almost every parallel with human street gangs that we have now. Because dogs would gain the concept of time, they would further resent humans for having longer lifespans than they do. Many dogs would turn to crime against humans, where roaming packs of dogs in the cities would ambush humans and maul them for sport, out of resentment or revenge for enslaving them. These dogs would attack random human targets, and they would pick on helpless humans who, who would have no guns or weapons to defend themselves. Left and right, people would be murdered and eaten by these roving gangs of canines. Dogs would also resent humans for being more intelligent than them and possessing hands. Human hands have built civilization. Dogs have no hands and can't build anything even if they wanted to. That would further fan their detestation of humans. They would have an envy of humans, too. Intelligent dogs would very much enjoy partaking of the human civili civilization, of having electricity and entertainment devices and warm, comfortable dwellings that humans have built, but it will bug them to no end that they are not only incapable of inventing what humans have due to limited brain capacity, um, inventing what humans have invented because their minds are not up to par, but that they also have no hands to build these things, even if they could dream them up. Dogs will demand the right to drive cars. Of course, they can't have cars that have controls built for humans, so humans will have to design cars with controls that a dog can operate, maybe by way of a huge touchpad that a dog can place its paws on. Of course, dogs are stupid and would have ADD and are easily distracted, so they'll be shitty drivers, getting in tons of accidents, trying to pursue cats with their cars by driving cars up onto the lawns to pursue cats. Due to the resentment of, of humans, many intelligent dogs will go out of their way to mess up human-made objects and living spaces in mischief. That means uh, these dogs would be running into human places where they don't belong, like fancy hotels or restaurants, and 
simply, you know, shitting and pissing on the floor, just bombing everything with their shit, you know, the tables, the beds, just to mischievously mess up the place for humans, because they will know that humans hate that. Dogs don't mind shit, they, they will sniff each other's assholes, they will eat cat shit, uh, but they know that humans hate that, and so they will go around and pissing and shitting on, on things that belong to humans. They would also chew up anything they can chew up to destroy it, like, like furniture, upholstery. Um, they will break into houses by shattering windows just to shit under the beds of the humans, to piss off the humans. Uh, these dogs will be lazy, and if they happen to be too lazy to attack humans to eat them, or other animals, they will bound into grocery stores as packs of dozens, wreaking havoc by destroying uh, merchandise, and they will attack all the food in the, in the stores, destroying food items, taking bites out of the food items. They will, for example, run into the meat department, jump up into the freezers, and will start chewing on frozen raw steaks. They will run into the pet aisle and rip open bags of dog food and steal chew toys and things like that. The stores will be left hurting financially because of all the destroyed food and merchandise. And this will happen again and again. Animal Patrol will be assigned to police these criminal dogs and capture them and put them in the pound, perhaps for the rest of their lives. The dogs will be getting shot with tranquilizers or will be gunned down by police if they decide to fight and not go easy. <coughs> for this reason, uh, dog gangs will target cops and dog catchers when they are off duty. You see, dogs can easily track you down because of their extraordinary sense of smell. So any police officer they interact with, they'll be able to track the guy back to his house. It doesn't matter if his address is kept anonymously. anonymous. You better not piss off a dog because it will jump out of the bushes and tear out your throat one day. They're very cunning. They will run up to humans and pretend that they just want to be petted and that they're just innocuous or dumb. And then they jump up and tear out the, the throat of the person who l allowed them to get close and let down their guard around them. They're faster and stronger than people, and for authorities to catch them is a mighty challenge as it is. Many dogs will become serial killers of humans. Their favorite thing to do will be to kill human children between ages 10 and 14. You see, that's like the average lifespan of a dog. And like I said, they will resent that humans live seven or eight times longer than they do. So to kill a 10-year-old human child balances out that, that unfairness in the universe. A dog lives to be you know, about 10 years old, so it's only fair that humans get to die at age 10 as well. You see, these dogs would prefer violence because they are evolved from wolves, and if intelligence gives them cunning, they'll be violent to humans whom they resent. You might be asking naively, well, why would dogs turn so evil? It's not about good or evil. It's competition between species determined by brain wiring, and I don't think you could ever genetically engineer a dog to fully be like a genius human. So, basically, you'll get sentience and some limited ability to reason, combined with all the violence and low impulse control of an animal. It's just simple biology. Now, there will be a lot of humans and human organizations that will defend these dogs, even if they are insanely dangerous. These cocked social justice warriors and animal rights activists will have human guilt for having treated dogs as slaves and will want to do anything possible to make up for it, even if it means possibly being killed by these dogs. These people will want programs like Midnight Fetch, many of them taxpayer-funded, to help manage the violence of these dogs and make them happy. Oh, how much money will be wasted on midnight fetch programs for these violent dogs. And these dogs will also, you know, mostly be violent toward each other, more so than humans, because dogs tend not to like each other. Taxpayer money will be wasted to educate these dogs, or to give them jobs such as drug sniffing, or delivery jobs, or canine officer jobs, and so forth. They will not take the jobs seriously and will not want to do them because, in their view, to work is enslavement. 
How many cops will be killed when their canine officer that they trust suddenly blindsides them with a deadly attack out of the blue due to a build-up of hatred? There will be many humans who are criminals themselves who will support the criminal activities of dogs and will even recruit these dogs to engage in criminal activities for them as proxies, such as selling drugs. A tweaker shows up to buy some meth from a dog gang that's working as a proxy for a human, and he'll have to pay a full amount if he doesn't want to get mauled. The dogs will be carrying drugs and cash in pouches attached to their collars. Uh, the media will tend to, to downplay or cover up the dog criminality. The movies will depict these intelligent dogs as benign and be a benefit to humanity. These dogs will be depicted as, as scientists and whatever, you know, as scientists uh, and philosophers to, to make them look really super intelligent when the opposite is the true. Um, they will push the propaganda that these dogs are a man's best friend to no end. That's all you'll be hearing is this is a man's best friend. It will be treated as hate speech to say that you hate intelligent dogs. Many people will be deceived and won't realize the danger they're in. They'll be deceived by this propaganda. Let us not also forget how these dogs will swiftly breed beyond the civilization's capacity to feed and support them. Uh, once they possess sentience, dogs will discover that sex can be had for pleasure, and they won't wear condoms or take birth control and will become addicted to sex. Um, they don't have hands to put on a condom anyway, so uh, thousands of puppies will be born every day and will be taught by their parent dogs to resent humans. And generally only the mother dogs will raise their puppies. Father dogs won't give a shit about their offspring, because that's how it is with animals, generally. It will be illegal to kill dogs to control their populations because they're sentient and it's akin to killing a person. So we'll be drowning in hostile dogs. These dogs will complain they are in poverty and humans are not taking care of them well enough. Humans owe them reparation for a million years of slavery. Every time these dogs watch a dog suffer in poverty on the Hope for Paws channel, or suffer from human abuse, they will get angry and go out and kill a human in rage, lacking the abstract thinking that if they kill all humans, that that will be the end of civilization, and they will have to revert to living like wolves in the forest, which is something they don't want to do, they don't want to go back to the wolf existence. Some people will reason that if these dogs hate humans so much, why don't these dogs just return to the forest and live like wolves and be free. Well, they will not want to return to the forest. They will want w welfare and reparations for slavery from the humans while resenting and attacking humans. So even though they'll be free now, they'll want reparations for the slavery their stupid ancestors endured. They will like that they can drive cars, you know, which is a, a perk of civilization created by humans, but they will hate that they can't build a car, that only humans can build a car because they have hands. It will be a war between the species. But see, humans are so cocked into loving dogs, humans will keep begging for a peaceful coexistence, which will be impossible, and humans will keep hoping for it and hoping for it and will do nothing to fight back against the hostile dogs. And don't think that all of these dogs will hate humans, as some of these dogs will be perfectly getting along with humans and will be peaceful and non-violent toward humans. But a large segment of them will not be docile and will wage war on humans. Now, I actually plagiarized this concept I just related from something that is going on in real life. Can anyone guess what it is? It would be nice to write a James Grider novel where his world becomes like a planet of the dogs. Maybe introduce an infocnol device with the power to turn any animal intelligent, and that's how that happens. But at the same time, also actually write that scientists created a dog like Einstein from Watchers. Einstein was peaceful 
and got along with humans in the novel. But when Einstein bred with a regular dumb dog, the offspring's intelligence was diluted in between Einstein's 130 IQ and the IQ of an average dog. So the puppies were sentient and intelligent, but their intelligence was closer to that of an ape with low impulse control than a human genius. Too bad I'll never get around to writing a James Grider novel with this concept. I'll long be dead or homeless unless I receive an injection of, of $200,000 right now into my bank account when 75,000 people buy my uh, Dance of Death, a James Grider novel. Um, dogs will also try to speak like humans, and every time they try to talk, they will sound like fucking Scooby-Doo trying to talk.